All right, what's going on, guys? So this will be for Daily Race C this week. Um, I know we've been waiting for this uh, for quite a while. So it's Group 2, which is uh, awesome. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. But um, we chose the CLK. Uh, the CLK is very, uh, very strong here, uh, very common. So we're going to just jump right into this. Guys, I chose uh, the break balance of negative 4, so 4 to the front. Um, it's really all preference, whatever feels best for you. Um, I would say mess around with it and see what feels most comfortable. Um, but yeah, let's go in and jump right into this. Uh, as They're going to start us out at the hairpin. Uh, so take that in second gear. Get a nice strong exit in second gear. As we come down for T1, hold it in sixth gear here. And we're going to look for the braking boards right here on the right. So as soon as we approach the 100 meter, that's where we want to start braking. So as soon as the, the curb starts here on the right, you're going to brake right in front of the 100 meter. So trail brake here. As soon as we hit the apex uh, on this curb here, upshift to second and use some throttle control there. Don't go to 100% right away. Use a little bit of throttle control, maybe like 70 to 80% and then 100 Uh, make sure when we're going through these S's here in the middle sector, uh, two tires going over each of these curbs. So a little bit of lifting and dabbing the brake. As we go into this uh, left-hander, dab the brake and hold it in third gear. And then I use first gear just to rotate the car a little bit extra, or you can keep it in second, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But make sure you exit in second gear. Be careful with this. Make sure two tires are still on this white line. If you go beyond it, you might get a penalty. So be very careful here. Now, same thing here on your exit in second gear. Don't go over the white line here. Only two tires must be still on the white line. If you have all four off of it, then you might get a penalty. So be very careful there. Uh, same thing here. Two tires must be on the curb there and the white line. So we're going to uh, hold it in fourth and then downshift to third for our exit. And right as we get over the bridge, get off the power and start trail braking here. Like I said, I just use first gear for rotation, but make sure you're exiting the corners in second gear. For this, make sure two tires are still on the curb. As you can see, both my left tires are still on the curb, so we avoided that penalty. Got to be very careful here while we're carrying as much speed as we can. That corner is very important because we're going to go down this whole back straight. So we're gaining time the whole time we're going through this tunnel here. Okay, so for the hairpin, you want to pass the 150 board and brake before the 100. So we're already on the brakes here, right in front of the 100 meter. Get off the power. Trail brake here. And exit in second gear, just like how we started off the lap. Um, try to hold a nice tight inside line here so you don't lose too much time by going too wide. And there we have it guys. That's going to conclude our lap. And we achieved the 118.7. So we definitely scrubbed off a little bit of time there um, if we picked up on our mistakes. Um, but I'm going to run this back so y'all can see the full car positioning and where we're placing the car at for these corners.
all right guys and there you have it that's going to conclude our full lap there for daily race see here at deep forest now guys i know this can be quite difficult one this track and also using this car so let me know what time you guys do it end up achieving in the comments and uh hopefully this helped you guys improve your lap time a little bit um you guys have fun out there this week try your best i know it's a difficult one but i know that you guys can do it i'll see you all in the next video thank you guys so much